Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How you doing? Matt Antonelli here today. Uh, today's question is, how loud are Major League Baseball stadiums? Um, and so I want to kind of go over this and give you my experience with it because uh, when you're playing baseball and a bunch of guys out there and girls that probably play, as you're growing up, you never really play in a stadium where it's, where it's really loud for the most part. Like, I never played in high school where it was loud. And I played in a couple of games, a state championship game and stuff, where there was a good amount of people there. Um, but I never remember hearing the crowd and be like, man, that is a loud crowd right there, right? And even through college, there were a couple times where I played against, uh, played in some stadiums with a lot of people, played against Clemson where they really packed the place, played against Florida State where they packed it. And although there were a lot of eyes on you, again, I don't ever remember it being really loud. And that continues into the minor leagues. Like, in the minor leagues, Never gets super, super loud. I played a double-A championship game um, against Springfield Cardinals, and they had a lot of people there. And we played a couple other games as well like that, but never noticed it. First time I ever really, really noticed the crowd, and I mean it was loud, was when I played in Dodger Stadium uh, against the Dodgers. They were in, so we were in last place, unfortunately, but they were, uh, they were in first. And uh, they were having a really, really good year. And it was late in the season. And people were getting excited for the playoffs. And they had just, uh, Manny Ramirez, they just traded for Manny Ramirez. And he was over there. And he was hitting like a million home runs. And uh, that stadium, I can vividly remember, we were playing against, we were playing late in the game. And Manny came up. And he would already hit like a couple home runs against us in that series. And... It was a close game. I, I think we were either tied or, or we were we were winning by a run or something. And Manny hit this home run, and it got so loud. I, I, I remember the thing went out, and they're blaring the music, and the people are screaming. And I remember my head literally for a second started to hurt, and I was like, oh. I, I remember. I sat there. I was like, this is the loudest I've ever heard. Like, I've, I've never been to a game where it's this loud before. It was unbelievable. And that was the only time, literally... That I felt like that. I played in, you know, it's not like I played in a ton of major league parks, but playing in Petco, playing in Washington's Park, playing in Milwaukee, playing in uh, the Diamondbacks parks, playing. So I've played in a couple decent amount of parks, um, and I don't ever like Rockies. Where else did I play? Um, I've always been to. I've never played the Red Sox in Fenway Park, but I've been to a ton of games as a as a fan, and I don't ever remember having anything close to this and the interesting thing about Dodger Stadium is that it's a big stadium so they can fill a lot of people in there and it's actually funny because usually the beginning of the game there's not a lot of people and then like the eighth and ninth inning there's sometimes not a lot of people it's that middle part of the the uh, game where there's a ton of people then if it's a close game some people stay till the end um, but it's interesting because at that stadium it's really high. Like when you're looking at it from the field, it looks, it looks huge. It looks like it just keeps going up. So it's really high. There's a lot of people in there, um, and whatever it is, like the the sound just gets down on the field, and it is really, really loud. So um, that was by far the loudest I'd ever ever heard it on the all the other parks that I played in. Like even when the park gets packed, I don't re really remember it being too too loud at any of those where I actually consciously was like man it's really loud down here and you get used to, you know you get used to playing in front of a lot of people and when the noise is you know the noise is loud but you just you know you, I don't know you just kind of zone it out a lot of the times but you couldn't zone it out that that night at Dodger Stadium and a couple other nights as well there where it was just super super loud um, but it's always interesting I think a lot of people think like you know is it like football where you know football stadium if you've ever been to a football game you know, you can't hear anything, right? You ever been to a game in like Seattle or if you ever been to a game in Kansas City, like the, the noise is so loud that it like hurts your head, like really legitimately gives you a headache. Um, and it's not anywhere close to that. I, I know football and baseball are different sports and people aren't on the top of their chairs banging their chairs and screaming and hollering, you know, during a baseball game typically. But man, when that home run happened with Manny, it got loud. People were excited. So, um, that's it. That's that's my experience, at least, with how loud MLB stadiums are. The one thing I'll say before I end this is a lot of times you'll say, you know, as a coach, 
And I know I've been told before, like, hey, you're going to play in a stadium one day where you, when you call the ball, like, you're not going to be able to hear and you better yell loud. And that is true when you get to the major leagues and you get to a stadium with a lot of people. When you do call it sometimes, you don't really hear the guys around you at certain points of the game, uh, especially in big situations. And again, it's not because it's so deafening that like you're getting a headache, but when you do have a huge crowd like that, you don't hear particular people screaming. It's just this overall, like, when everybody's talking with each other, you know, you just, it's it's like the, you hear that kind of the whole game. Um, and not that you're really conscious to it, but when the ball goes up in the air, usually on a fly ball and you're calling it, especially as the ball gets up, you know, every time a ball goes up in a game, everyone thinks it's a home run no matter where it's hit, right? The ball goes straight up to the catcher. It's like, ah, oh. It got caught by the catcher. So, like, people start to get excited every time the ball goes up because a lot of them think that it's going to be home run. So it does get a little bit louder, and a lot of times you can't really hear, and that's why you've got to scream really loud and multiple times, and then as you get a little bit closer to the field, you start to hear them a little bit. So as far as loudness there, it definitely affects it affects the game, and it changes from, you know, when you're at a lower level, you're in the minor leagues in college and obviously in high school. So for that, yeah, the game is definitely louder. But as far as super loud, Dodger Stadium was the one time. All right. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions. Subscribe to the channel. Share the video with all your friends, all that good stuff. Uh, check the description box below. We got a bunch of stuff down there. Got a deal with Plate Crate. Got a link to our Patreon page. Got a bunch of other stuff as well. And that's all I got, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. And we'll talk to you later.